Carlisle's becoming one of the country's fastest growing locations for street art. Some of the industry's biggest names have just completed the latest examples in a trail stretching across the city centre. Mark McAlinden reports. This sprawling mural is the latest in a series of striking pieces of public art to adorn sites around Carlisle. The man behind it wants to showcase some of the industry's most famous names, inspiring people and helping the economy. We don't expect them to like every piece just like you wouldn't in a gallery, uh, but this is now the 15th piece. It's been picked up by um, a worldwide website called Street Art Cities, which now has an interactive map where you can track the pieces, who made them and take the tour around Carlisle. Street art is a way of making people move through their places differently, interact with those places differently and think about what they're looking at. Other examples can be found in small corners of the city centre. The decoration of public space, says Ben, is entirely legitimate. I think there's a big difference between graffiti and public art and street art and uh, we are firmly in the camp of bringing in people who have a good pedigree and heritage uh, of bringing quality art that people can enjoy. Vandalism is often done without permission, this is always done with permission and um, we're, we're very much about the positive. It's unlikely to stop here. More street art of this kind is likely to spring up in Carlisle in future. Mark McElendon, BBC Look North, Carlisle.